Dakota First. KX News at 10 starts now. Good evening, I'm Lauren Culver. And I'm Nicholas Pollock. Thank you for watching KX News. A year ago today, a Bismarck man was sentenced to prison for raping and abusing his infant daughter. Although he is behind bars today, Renee Cooper joins us to share why the mother of the victim says she has one more battle to fight. Hi, Renee. Hi, Nicholas and Lauren. The mother asked that her name be left out of the story because she says she's been attacked on social media in the past over what happened to her now three-and-a-half-year-old daughter. This man, who is serving a 16-year prison sentence, is 34-year-old Andrew Glasser. Back in 2017, Glasser had no prior charges like this when he watched their children while the mother worked. But she never expected to come home one day to this. I got home from work later that night and I checked her diaper and there is an injury that should not have been there. I took her to the walk-in clinic. They sent me to the emergency room. They sent us home. Took me to the pediatrician the next morning. It was doctor number four to tell me, finally tell me, kind of like, this is sexual trauma. Three and a half years later, this little girl is healthy. Thankfully, babies heal fast and you wouldn't know her from any other three-year-old. <laughs> like, because she's so little, she doesn't remember anything. That said, she knows one day she'll have to have that conversation with her daughter before she finds out on her own. And with the possibility of Andrew Glasser's release before her 18th birthday. He's set to get out October 27th of 2030. My daughter will be 13 years old. The mother of two filed to terminate his parental rights and to change both of her children's last names. What about child support? Does that concern you at all? I don't get child support now. At that point, whenever he gets released, I'll have been doing it for so long by myself that child support, honestly, like, it'd be, it's not, I don't know, I don't need it. I mean, I, I, it'd be nice, but it's not something that I'm used to getting. And although the conditions of his judgment say Glasser cannot contact or be within 100 yards of the victim, these terms go away when he completes probation. The mother says she can't let that happen. When you are terminating someone's parental rights, that does not automatically extinguish a child support obligation. Attorney Patrick Waters tells me while bound by the probation conditions, Glasser still retains other rights as a parent, like access to his kids' medical records. According to the mother, the termination would ensure even if something happens to her, he cannot step in as a parent. I think the mother's doing what she feels is right, and she should do that. Water says he can't say for sure without all of the facts, but he believes she likely has a strong case. I feel like this is the best option for the kids because they need to know that they are protected. That if you hurt kids, you're not going to get away with it. You don't get to have those ties. Now, this legal action does come with a price tag. The mothers tells me that day in court alone to terminate Glasser's parental rights will cost her around $2,400. To fight back won't cost Glasser a dime. He's given a court-appointed attorney. A GoFundMe page was created to help the victim's mother with the remaining costs. She estimates at $5,000. And Lauren and Nicholas, the trial will be held next month. Meanwhile, Glasser is fighting to reduce his current sentence in the state Supreme Court. Renee Cooper reporting. Thank you very much. In continuing coverage tonight, South Dakota Governor Christy Noem.